Oh, I went from having hardly any light in my P1S printer to having amazing lights now with a cheap light strip from AliExpress that was only £2 and a light strip riser that I printed from Maker World. By here I am just selecting that I've got PLA enabled on my printer now resyncing it so the right filament is chosen. Selecting my right settings for my printer. Selecting the file for the riser. Click on slice print. Just checking the settings. I haven't changed none of the settings from the file I downloaded. As you can see in the orange, that's different from my normal selected, but I've kept it as it was. Now click slice plate. Just checking roughly how long it's going to take to print and then print plate, making sure black PLA is selected. and then send it to the printer. I'm currently printing a riser for my P1S because as everybody knows it's a fantastic printer and it prints really well but the internal light is absolute, it is way too dim. So I purchased these LED light strip off AliExpress, only £2. So we print in the riser and we will fit it and hopefully I'll fit the light in on this fantastic printer. The file is freely available on Bamboo's Maker World. It's printed in the first two parts and then we print the second two parts, snap them together and fit them on top and place the light on the ring inside. one minutes left on these two pieces and then it'll be time to change and print the other two pieces just hope it works out fine we'll soon find out the print is actually really good I don't know if you can see it printing it in PLA which should be ample for what I want it for Part one is just finished. Print quality on this machine is absolutely superb. Just need to get the brim off. Right, now to print the other two pieces. Part two finished printing a short while ago. And there we have it, one finished riser for the P1S, you'll put your lights around the inside of the ring and obviously it goes that way down. The riser fits on top, nice. And then your glass panel fits perfectly. So we just put the LEDs in now and wire it up and see how it goes. Apparently we need to remove that and unplug in there but be very careful because of the ribbon cable. 
That's the ribbon cable. You've got to be very careful. You don't damage when pulling that back. And that's what we need to unplug to plug in the new LED lights. Simply remove that one out of the way. That's your main light. I'll try and connect that back up as well. It would help if we had it the right way around. This is extremely fiddly. put it back together let's just see if it's working as you can see the LEDs are now lit up but one thing worth mentioning is that was that was on for the main light but it switched itself off so obviously if you switch it off oops the right button the light was off which turns it off obviously so for some reason that went from on to off but now it's working so what I'm going to try and do is wire this to the main light everything is now connected up and everything is now being put back together the opposite of the way we took it off and I've managed to connect the original light back on just switch it on and there you can see the original light is on and also the LED lights. What an absolute difference these LED lights make compared to what it was like before you can actually now see it printing without having to use a torch to see inside the printer as i'm sure you will agree there is a massive difference you can now actually see what your printer is printing instead of having to shine a torch into the printer for the sake of two pound and a bit of pla to print the riser it is well worth doing Both lights now working, the LED strip on the top, on the riser and the main light. Look how bright it is in there now, it, one hell of a difference. Something I should have done a lot earlier. Anyway, thanks for watching, please like, comment and subscribe.